Let's begin with the West Tigers. I thought that they looked appalling yesterday. They were beaten 38 nil by the Bulldogs, who again wanted to end the season on a high. We now understand this internal review is underway. It was a disappointing and revealing look, I think, that effort last no, yesterday, Hoops, as to how far the, the, the club or the team has, has really fallen. What, what's the post-mortem going to begin with? It was a putrid performance, as you just touched on, Vaughan, and speaking to a lot of people around the game today, there's a view that it lent itself to the players smelling blood in the water around coach Michael Maguire and essentially not going out there and giving it their absolute best. It's unforgivable. I, I tell you what it did. It, it lifted the lid on the character of the West Tigers and it showed what Michael Maguire has been battling all season, which is they are... As a, as a collective week, they haven't got the character to get in the fight and mm. stay in the fight. And the fact that they quit so easily yesterday in that game, now whether, whether they want to argue they were tried all the rest of it, the fact is as a group, they turned it up. 38 nil against the worst team in the competition, team averaging about 15 points a year all year. It's won two games. It's won two season. games. They got, they got beat 38 nil in their last yeah, game. If they have any semblance of professional pride buzz, they put in a performance yesterday. And they didn't turn up. Yeah, look, I think Tales from Tiger Town lifted the lid uh, well before yesterday's performance in lack of leadership. And James Tarmow hasn't come up. Brooks isn't a leader. Uh, Adam Dewey was, you know, trying to lead with actions on the football field. There's no leaders, Kent. I don't, were, don't disagree, Buzz. No one spoke. All you heard that whole show was mad swearing. That's all you heard. But, no one was getting up and challenging Madge and saying, why aren't we doing, why aren't we doing that? They just cop what he was saying. That performance yesterday was disgraceful. What worries me about this review, and I said it this morning on radio, why have a review done by people who should be being reviewed? They need an independent mob in there to do this review. So walk us through the details of this review. Who's conducting it? Who's being looked at? It's been driven by the board. The reason, my understanding, the reason they're not getting a... Uh, an independent person to review the club. Last time they did it, they got Brian Smith in and they copped a bashing for that. Didn't That didn't turn yeah, out he well. He was an independent expert. On well, uh, it, Buzz, but, uh, but I'll tell you what, the, the, the ace up the sleeve for the, for the Tigers is Tim Sheens. So the board is basically putting it to Justin Pasico, who's the chief executive, and Adam Hardigan, who's the, the general manager of football there, to go and come back with some answers that they want to ask. And it's specifically, it's not about pathways or recruitment or any of that. It's all about the performance of the NRL team. And they want answers, and they want them back from Hardigan and Pasco. And I, and I ask the question, what if they're the problem? What if Pasco and Hardigan are, are the problem or part of the problem? They won't come back. But they believe that when it comes back and the, the board will then sit down with the, the, the answers to their questions, Tim Sheens will be part of that review as it, well. Can I interrupt? How on earth can Tim Sheens, 70 years of age, in the north of England, can't get a plane home. How was he going to determine if Michael Maguire... Well, the buzz that initially buzzed but was, how was will he, he was supposed to be... It? Hang on, let me answer the question. Initially, he was supposed to arrive back mid-July. So he was going to be a part of the last six, eight weeks of the competition and he was going to be hands-on in terms of being able to do face-to-face -face interviews with players, other staff at the club, and then provide the review. But it hasn't worked out that way because of COVID. Now they've deferred to Justin Pascoe and Adam Hardigan. I agree with you. It's a Mickey Mouse review when you've got a CEO who's under enormous pressure and a general manager of football who's in the same boat, who's had a big stink with Maguire while they were up in Brisbane inside the bubble. They've had a bust up. Mm. They've obviously since tried to smoke the peace pipe and bring it back on the same page a little bit more. But you can really see the self-preservation and the desperation starting to creep into things at but the West But gentlemen, uh, and Vonnie, do we need a review to determine, oh, if, the Michael, review. That's a good to idea. determine if Michael Maguire deserves to stay? Or do we flick him on the last couple of years? And well, look, I think no. I, I think you've got to have a look at it, Buzz. The, the, for too long, the club's answer has been to, to move on to the next coach. They need to figure out. I, I, the, the roster is there's just, roster's awful. There's just, where's the ownership but the of the results, players? In that's this? that's the point. Where where's the players mm. in this? I, I think they really need to move a, a whole core of players on. Okay, but that's but not they, easy. No one you, will go you know there. how you guys, hard that is. You guys know no one will sign there. 
Look at what Canterbury have signed, the five quality players. No one will go to the West Tigers. And that says something about Adam Harding and Justin Pascoe and Michael Maguire. They will not go there. Well, well it's a question that needs to be resolved. Mm. The, the, the board need to find out the answer to that. To your point about Sheens, one, Sheens might be 70. Wayne Bennett's 70. No, look, I, I Sheens couldn't imagine there, his age. He's I still just, over there coaching. Yeah, yeah. He's still doing. He's still working yeah, yeah. over there. And as far as him being still in England, the fact is we're all living on Zoom these yeah. days. That's, what, that's the way the world's Can working. I tell you something it's funny. no different from him. I bagged his age last time and I rang him. Yeah. He watches this show. He'll be watching now live because he heard me and gave it to me because right. <laughs> I mentioned his age. So hello, Shenzi. I think, Von, in the immediate, the biggest challenge that Michael Mograi is going to have is that these players in the interviews that began last week have been critical of his methods, of some of the defensive systems that have put in, been put in place, of his tactics. So, yeah, are we back to if the there's start a collective the rumbling... That, that this is the problem with that, that mindset, OK? So, so the Tigers sit there and they whinge about certain things he's doing at the club. And as happened last year when he, he sat a player down and he, he took the player to task over the way the player played, and the player said, look, I don't like the way you want me to play. And, and Maguire nearly fell off his chair and he said, hang on a second. Mm. He said, how many final series have you played in? Mm. And the player yeah. said, none. He said, well, how about you do it my mm. way for a little while? And if that works, if that doesn't work, then we'll try your way. But but what about guys the guys I talked to tell me that attitude is defence, not necessary structure. Mm. It's attitude. Well, I think it's a combination of both, but yeah. Yeah, well, that's why I'm, I don't necessarily go players blowing up about his defensive strategies and stuff. Mm. It is attitude. I think the biggest indictment for Madge at the moment and the reason why he's fighting to remain as coach for next year and the season beyond that is the fact they've gone backwards. And I know yeah. the rule changes mean that defensively the game has opened up a, more, a lot more, but we've seen That's his the work. better coaches have been able to adapt to the new style of football that is being played. Whereas Madge, who's always been renowned as an expert defensive coach, the year the Bunnies won the premiership under him, South's averaged 15 points conceded mm. per game. The Tigers are averaging almost double this year, and it's gone backwards every year. Mm. That's Nine, a 11, challenge. 13, I think, is where they've gone in his three years. Yes. But if the criticism of Madge is that he's too hard, but then we sit back and say, well, the West Tigers are too soft, those two don't align. So... I, I'd be moving my, players on. Yeah, I would. But, I, yeah, I'd be just... Kendi, I'd as, be as, I, as I tried to say, let's say you move six players at 400k each. You've got 2.4 to spend. Who do you sign? Who will go there? I don't think they have a lot of choice. Unless you've got, there's a lot of players on the open market who can't get a start, like Aaron Woods, Corey Norman, these sort of footballers. There's, there's not a lot of quality out there. Fair point. Well, hopefully the review will reveal some positivity for the West Tigers to build on because that was a really awful way for their fans and, of course, everyone involved in the club to finish the year on. It was a sour note Whatever yesterday. Whatever comes out of Vonnie, they've got to make the right decisions. There's a, you know, I said, there's a difference between direction and motion. They're moving at the moment, Tigers. Yeah. They're not necessarily going the right way. They're going backwards. 